Senator Miriam Santiago, chair of the Committee on Constitutional Amendments and Revisions of Codes and Laws, wants to evaluate former DILG Undersecretary Rico Puno and his alleged attempt to secure documents from the late Interior Secretary Jesse Robredo's condominium unit. What was he so afraid of that he himself had to have personal possession outside of the orders to him of President Aquino? But why her committee? Santiago claims there is a possible violation of the Administrative Code and the 1990 DILG Act, as she considers irregular Puno's appointment to supervise the Philippine National Police. Santiago says an undersecretary should only be exercising the power delegated to him by the secretary. The senator thinks Puno has strong backers. Maybe the president is not defending Mr. Puno, but is just trying to assuage or to protect the backers of Mr. Puno. Book 4, Chapter 2, Section 6 of the 1987 Administrative Code states the authority and responsibility for the exercise of the mandate of the department and for the discharge of its powers and functions shall be vested in the secretary, who shall have supervision and control of the department. Book 4, Chapter 8, Section 39 also gives the secretary power to supervise and control the bureaus, offices, and agencies under him. Chapter 1, Section 6 of the DILG Act states the department shall consist of the department proper, the National Police Commission, the Philippine Public Safety College, and the following bureaus. The Philippine National Police, the Bureau of Fire Protection, and the Bureau of Jail Management and Penology. In the case of the late Secretary Robredo, he was not given full control over the DILG, as Puno was tasked to handle the PNP. Aside from this, the senator also questions Puno's motive in visiting Robredo's condominium and his alleged involvement in wetting, PNP gun deals, and illegal logging. Some senators, however, question the committee's authority to conduct the probe. Under the Senate rules, only the Committee on Rules and the Blue Ribbon Committee are allowed to conduct meetings or hearings on its own. Senate President Juan Ponce Enriles says the scheduled hearing is unprecedented as there was neither a resolution passed nor a privileged speech delivered prior to the call for an investigation. Senator Panfilo Lacson explains a problem may arise when resource persons invited do not appear as the Senate may be confused whether it can issue a subpoena. But Santiago earlier said there is no need to pass a resolution or to deliver a privileged speech as she chairs the committee herself. Enrile and Lacson, along with other senators, will not attend today's hearing, citing personal reasons. Eleven senator members of the Santiago Committee have already relayed their absence, which made Santiago furious. Under the rules, two members of a committee must be present in a hearing to have a quorum. The senator accuses Malacanang of interference and claims it should be blamed if there will be no quorum today. Camille Alemia, Solar News.